Hello students, last time we discussed geography as a discipline in which we talked about why should we study geography, what geography is and what is it concerned about. Besides, we also talked about the relationship of geography with other disciplines. Today we will be talking about different branches of geography. There are two main approaches to study geography. One is the systematic approach and other is the regional approach. The systematic approach was developed by Alexander von Humboldt, a German geographer and the regional approach was also developed by a German geographer Karl Ritter. These two approaches are the ways to study different aspects of branches of geography. Now, if we have a look at this diagram, you can see that the branches of geography based on the systematic approach are physical principles or philosophy of geography, methods and techniques of geography and human geography. Now, so far as the classification is concerned, how we basically do in systematic and how is it different from that of regional geography is that in the systematic approach a phenomena is studied world over as a whole and then identification of typologies or spatial patterns are done. In the regional approach the world is divided into different regions at different hierarchical levels and then all the geographical phenomena in a particular region our study. If we come back to this diagram, the branches of geography based on the systematic approach are physical geography and the aspects which we study here you can see one is geomorphology, climatology, hydrology, and soil geography. In the principles and philosophy of geography, we study about geographical thought, human ecology, land and human interaction is part of human ecology here. In the human geography, which is the other facet of based on the systematic approach, we have social and cultural geography. population and settlements and economic geography. There is historical and political geography as well. In the population and settlements, we talk about the rural and urban geography and in the rural and urban as well, we have different aspects, for example, migration and other aspects of the human nature. There are also methods and techniques by which we study geography which we say we are the cartography and the field techniques. So far as physical geography is concerned, it is mainly devoted to study of geomorphology where which we study landforms, their evolution, how they are related to the processes of their evolution. For example, if we see mountains, how they have evolved over a period of time. Then there is climatology in which we study about the structure of the atmosphere, the elements of weather and climate and climatic types world over and how one region climatically differs from the other. There is also the other uh, uh, branches which we study in the uh, in the physical geography is hydrology which is concerned about the realms of water and soil geography which is devoted to the processes of soil formation. So far as human geography is concerned, human geography mostly considers the social and cultural geography the which encompasses the study of the society and its spatial dynamics and settlement geography is studies 
population growth, distribution, density, sex ratio, migration, occupational structure and settlement geography studies about the characteristics of rural and urban settlements. In the economic geography, which is also part of human geography, we study about the people, their trades, agriculture, industry, tourism and other aspects. These all aspects take us to the other facets of geography as well. If we have a close look at other diagram, here we talk about the branches of geography based on regional approach. In that we see regional studies, regional development, regional analysis and regional planning. In the regional planning we have country and town planning and in the regional studies we can have studies at different levels, micro, meso and the macro level. These all aspects are covered in different. So far as the branches of geography are concerned on the regional approach, we have these things in our mind. And the most important thing is the field survey methods which we use in geography to study with respect to techniques and we have uh, GPS and remote sensing techniques which help us to analyze the geographical phenomena. So let me sum up today what we have studied is the different branches of geography. It depends on the approaches we use for study of geography. The main approaches are systematic and regional approaches and on the basis of that different branches of geography have been enumerated.